Piping in SOLIDWORKS Premium 2010 has many new features that help streamline the whole process. Piping and instrumentation diagrams, better known as PNID, can now drive the whole pipe routing process in much the same way as in electrical routing. Data exported from third-party applications in XML format controls which equipment is required and the pipe routes between them. We'll go ahead and place the three tanks using SmartMates to locate them on the floor. When placing components, a new triad appears on the part which controls the direction of rotation when pressing the shift key and left or right arrows. Once placed, a refresh will flag all those items as green, letting us know the current status of what is placed and what is not. Next we'll go on to the pipe routes. The connection points are shown using guidelines, which can be turned into real pipes using auto route. Each possible solution can be investigated before creating the pipe. We'll do the same with the other pipeline, but this also has an inline fitting designated in the PNID. If the fitting is already in the assembly, it can be selected or assembled interactively. The guidelines are shown as before and we can cycle through the possible options until we get a solution we like. Manual pipe routes can be added to the PNID pipe routes, for example if we wish to connect these two pipes. SOLIDWORKS 2010 includes extra downloadable content for DIN and ISO piping standards. The design library also includes extra content. If we add a T on this pipe and rotate it, you may notice a big usability improvement. You no longer have to split the pipe route first before adding a fitting. We'll go ahead and do it again with a reducing T. This improvement means we can add back-to-back -back fittings easily by simply dragging and dropping them onto the pipeline. We'll finish this route off by adding a reducer and using auto route to connect the ends. Finally, we need to add the flanges onto the ends of each pipe route. A simple drag and drop near to the end of the pipe selects the correct size flange. We'll just repeat it for each pipe end. Making changes to pipe diameters has been made significantly easier to use. Selecting a pipe segment colour codes the fittings at each end and asks us what they need to be changed to. Setting this reducing T to a 5x5x3inch forces the flange at the opposite end of the pipe to be 3 inch. Pressing next visits each pipe segment in turn to allow us to propagate the changes around the pipe route. This flange is OK so we'll press next. This flange needs to be a 3 inch and the reducer needs to be a 3 to 2 inch. We know no further changes are needed so we can press OK and the entire pipe route is updated. SOLIDWORKS can put the details of a pipe route in a format suitable for creating a piping isometric drawing using alias isogen. For any other purpose than plant design this solution is a little overkill. Many users just want a drawing of the pipe route, bill of materials and dimensions. The new pipe drawing button automates this process with a single button click. A little tidying up and the manufacturing drawing has been created with very little effort. SOLIDWORKS Premium 2010 
streamlines the piping process from initial schematic all the way through to manufacturing. 